In previous video we had learned how to identify three types of blood cells RBC WBC and platelet Today we will see how to identify five different types of WBC also known as leukocyte and how they look under the microscope The trick to identify blood cells is first you find out if there is nucleus present or not No nucleus is present in normal RBC If there is nucleus definitely it might be any WBC among their five types Nucleus is present meaning you start thinking of neutrophil or eosinophil or basophil or monocyte or it might be a lymphocyte Now carefully focus on the cytoplasm of each WBC whether the cytoplasm is granular or whether it has relatively clear cytoplasm If it is granular then it must be any one of the granulocytes neutrophil or eosinophil or basophil and if you found the cytoplasm is relatively clear or agranular then it must be any one of the agranulocytes meaning it must be a lymphocyte or monocyte isn't it simple notice if the nucleus has lobe or not if it has lobes maybe it is a neutrophil or eosinophil or it is a basophil if you find the nucleus has no lobes start thinking it might be a lymphocyte or it is a monocyte now come to the granulocytes which has lobed nucleus we will now limit our thinking within neutrophil eosinophil or basophil only focus on their cytoplasm color is the cytoplasm is light pink does the cytoplasm has very fine granules does the nucleus have 3 to 5 lobes then it is a neutrophil among the wbc neutrophil is the most abundant in number in peripheral blood film of an adult you remember one thing in case of blood film of a younger child or newborn lymphocytes are prominent cells in pbf not the neutrophil let's come again to the cytoplasm of granulocytes Is the cytoplasm color is bright pink or reddish or orange color? Are the granules are coarse or larger? And is the nucleus has two lobes? Doesn't it seem like someone wears the big goggles on their eyes? See? This cell with big goggles is none other than eosinophil. And also notice their size is a bit larger than the neutrophil. Now see this leukocyte. It has a very big lobe nucleus. But notice the color and size of the cytoplasm granules. It has dark blue or dark purple, bigger or coarser sized granules, and the granules are so numerous in number that it often obscures the nucleus, meaning you may not clearly see the nucleus through these densely packed granules. Be sure you are seeing a basophil. Also remember Basophils are the least in number in blood, about 0 to 1% of all leukocytes, so you hardly found basophil in PBF. Now, let's go to focus on the agranulocytes, which has relatively clear cytoplasm and nucleus has no lobes. You have to limit your thought within, either it is a lymphocyte or a monocyte only. See this leukocyte with apparently clear cytoplasm. Its nucleus is quite big, dark purple in color, round in shape with no indentation. And the nucleus is surrounded by a very thin rim of cytoplasm. That's it. It is obviously a lymphocyte. There are two varieties of lymphocyte, large lymphocyte and small lymphocyte. Point to be noted, size of the nucleus of small lymphocyte is approximately same as size of a RBC. You can easily compare that on the slide by the surrounding RBC in PBF. Now, let's focus this one. It has nucleus, so it is definitely not a RBC. Nucleus has no lobes and cytoplasm is not that much granular, rather relatively clear, so it is not among granulocytes, 
meaning it is not a neutrophil, not a eosinophil, nor a basophil either. Let your thought limit to a granulocyte, whether it is lymphocyte or a monocyte. Previously, we had told, lymphocyte nucleus is round with no indentation, and lymphocyte cytoplasm is very less, only a thin rim of cytoplasm should be noticeable. Does this fit in this cell? See, it has big nucleus with a slight indentation, sometimes refers to kidney-shaped nucleus, and more importantly, it has abundant cytoplasm. Yes, this is none other than a monocyte. Monocyte is the largest cell in blood, that is another identifying point also. Let's summarize the whole idea in a short brief, how you go for the thinking process while identifying cells. First, try to find out is it granulocyte or is it a granulocyte. Then find out what about the nucleus, does it have it low or has no low, what about the cytoplasm amount, color and status of its granules. Think this way step by step and practice examining more and more PBF slide under microscope. You will be an expert in identifying cells for sure. That's all for today. Like, comment, share and subscribe the channel. Keep learning new things. Good day.